76 million of us just here in the U.S. We are the biggest generation that ever existed. We were called the me ones, the crazy ones, and boy do we know what that means, don't we? In fact, we have reinvented every single phase of our life. We were the yuppies, we were the hippies, we like innovation. Well, now we are in the winter of our life. And I can assure you, this is not going to be your average winter. I invite you to join me at Boomerology Reviews every single week so we can figure out how boomers are reshaping this phase of their lives. Join me. Oh my gosh. Oh, Boomerology okay. Come TV. On. They know everything about boomers. Woo! Oh, yeah. Woo! Yeah. And hey. today I'm with the group Adventures of Staying Young. Hello, gals. Adventures in Staying Young. Hello. Hey. This is already an adventure talking to you on uh, this Google Hangout. Yeah. Old age is not for sissies. Tell me a little bit about each one of you. Okay. So my name is Pamela Rand, or better known as Pam the Ham. And um, get out of here. Who did that? Anyway, Shahar, so what happened is after my kids got out of the house, grown up, I said to myself, you know, I'm not going to sit around and grow old. I kind of took score of my life and, and figured out, you know, what I like to do best. And I wanted to reinvent myself. So um, I figured the few things that I do best, one is... Uh, I'm very active, active uh, boomer senior, and I can make people laugh. And that's the thing really I love to do best. So I went to medical school and I got an MD in laughter. <laughs> and then I had this fabulous idea, I thought, which is true because it really turned out to be a fabulous idea, to make these, these, this web series. And that was a big new idea because uh, in our day, you know, it was a uh, tape with a film. I mean, you just film. But anyway, a web series. And I found my colleague, Joni Baloney here, who is a physical comic just like me. And then I found, very lucky to find, Hester Shell, the Ooh. directress with the bestest. And we started this fabulous, funny, zany, crazy web series of boomer humor, laughter RX, and there that's the whole, my whole spiel. We're just having so much fun creating these short uh, content, short sketch, basically, people don't have a lot of time to watch long content anymore, apparently, so everything's moving on to the web, and we're doing 30 second, one minute, four minute shorts, sketch humor, and our intention is to help you lower your blood pressure, and release endorphins in the brain, and support all of this medical research that doing something every day to laugh and have fun is going to give you a longer, longer life. I read one report that said if you're doing some belly laughing, even just 10 minutes a day is going to exercise your heart as much as riding a bicycle for a mile. And isn't that shorter and faster and more fun to laugh than to ride a bike for a mile? Well, Who the hell bike? wants to ride a bike for a mile? Yeah, yeah, I ride a bike. Bike. That's for sure. <laughs> and and Miss Baloney, what about you? Oh, me? Yeah. Look up here, Joni Baloney. That Joni green thing. Baloney? Well. Why did you get into this? You go over there. Because I wanted to work with Pam, and I wanted to work with Hester, and I've been doing this all my life, and I really wanted to act and be funny. Hello, girls. How long ago did you start your show, your web series? Uh, it's been, what, uh, eight months, maybe? Yeah, we Hester? started last September. It'll be a year in September. So we do these sketches, and you'll see them. I mean, I, one Should of we them... introduce one? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, 
Why don't you tell us who Mama is? Ah, uh, Mama. Mama in the kitchen. The beauty secrets of the kitchen. So when you're going to see this, you're going to see I'm making a special pasta. You're going to see what I do with the pasta to my friend, the Johnny Bologna. Pass. Oh. We're going to take away today these wrinkles here. You see? Out here. I'll bet for come across. You see all the wrinkles here and this. You're going to take a 10, 20, 30, 40 years off, huh? Alberto, go back, basta, basta. Good. <laughs> Benny, che facci? Eh? You want the glue commercial now? No? Well, fangula! I get out of there! What are your goals with this web series? We're hoping to find sponsors so that we can continue. We have so many ideas of so much um, more than we're doing of boomer plus humor. So we just want to keep people laughing really with the conviction that laughter is the best medicine, that people can change their attitudes, can get up off their couch, can start having optimism instead of just sitting there growing old and rickety. So we're looking at a licensing agreement which has been sent to us uh, yesterday. We have a producer in Los Angeles and we hope to um, realize our dream of this distribution platform and getting us um, broadcasting in you know medical facilities um, care facilities nursing home retirement facilities so that we are where seniors and boomers are working living relaxing enjoying so that you, know, you can choose whatever clip you want to watch and have a short laugh and our goal is to get our content out there we're all professionals in the entertainment business we've been doing this all our lives and we really would like to find a corporate sponsor, product, service, people who service, uh, know the, the value of the boomer dollar out there in our economy. <laughs> the boomer dollar. The boomer dollar. <laughs> and those damn boomers got lots of dollars. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 3.1 <laughs> trillion every year just in the U.S. That's all? <laughs> That's all trillion, yeah. <laughs> them boomers got their money in shoeboxes under their beds, and we <laughs> part of it. If your partner's erectile dysfunction medication is still working after four and a half hours, don't call your medical advisor. Call your friend. <laughs> Risk factors with prolongated use of Hermanus erectus include euphoria, out-of-body teleportation, bouts of laughter, and embarrassment. Always consult your pedicurist before engaging in a menage a trois. For best results, users are encouraged to choose partners under 35 years of age. Spousal jealousy, fatigue, and sore throat have been reported as a result of being up all night. We're shooting it for the web. I mean, yes, we're shooting HD, but our distribution platform right now is is YouTube and it's all free so we invite everybody to hop over to adventuresinstayingyoung.com or go to YouTube and put Adventures in Staying Young in the search window and there's a little button there on the right that says subscribe Ooh, so how do you push, spell that word? push the little button that says subscribe and that will help us get our numbers up so maybe we can get a sponsor to do this that's right it's expensive, our editor wants to get paid and our writers and even our director wants to get paid I can't understand that today you can see that web shows are really the new format of TV shows. For you to have an idea, House of Cards and Orange is the New Black, they are web shows, and they are going for the Grammy now. Wow. That's so, what we so, Yes. But I, what I would say is exactly what Hester just said, that every time boomers are watching a show, be, be your show, my show, they should take a second and subscribe and leave a comment because a lot of advertisers out there, they think that only millennials are watching YouTube and they have this twisted mindset that that's where they should put their advertising dollars, but they don't look at us and our audience which has a lot of disposable income on average. A boomer has $23,000 a year just to spend on stuff. You see? I mean, yeah. So it's important, but boomers don't like mm -hmm. to share a lot. And that's an issue when we need to grow our audience. They watch, but they don't share. So what has to Oh said, my gosh, them selfish boomers. <laughs> what the hell? You get out there and you share, guys. Should we introduce another clip? Sure. Growing up, I used to watch silent movies. I loved Charlie Chaplin and Buster Keaton, and I thought it would be really fun to do tributes to the silent movie era. So this is starring Joni Baloney in our si tribute to uh, silent movies, The Robbery. Take a look.
episode. It's uh, Pam to Ham versus a sumo wrestler. Okay. We're also working on a How to Juggle series starring Joni Baloney. She's a fantastic juggler. Um, oh. We're going to do some more silent movies, and we're going to do another episode, or segment rather, of um, In Mama's Kitchen. And We have a, a couple ideas we're going to be working on for another spoof on the beauty secret meets the cooking show, so that'll be fun. Yeah, and, and also Pam the Ham at the gym. That's very challenging. Yeah. I do go to the gym, and my trainer said, now you go backwards on the treadmill backwards. It took my brain about three minutes to figure out how do I walk backwards on a treadmill. That was interesting. Welcome back. In, In world, world news today, today, the government of North Korea has agreed to shut down and rejoin the South. In the U.S., the southern states have agreed to another succession. 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 A succession. We all know the U.S. government shutdown has ended, but they forgot to clean house. You mean take out the garbage? You mean take out the dogs? Isn't it the elephants? Oh, what a zoo. Our central question is, Shahar, what, what did you do today to feel young? Um, oh, do something I, every day to I have, have fun, be silly, put a smile on your face, and lower your blood pressure. Yeah, you know, we, my daughter and I today, this morning, we actually went through a canyon here in Utah, very beautiful, to look at birds, and that makes us smile quite a bit. I love oh. nature. Did you but, walk or, or drive? Oh, we drove through the canyon. It, okay. it was from one city to another, so it was a long drive. Oh, I know you have beautiful mountains and canyons in Utah. Yes, oh, yes we cool. do. The other day I went to the doctor. This is real. I went to the doctor, and he was filling the papers, and he, and he said, what's your age? And I, I just went, 35. And then <laughs> I suddenly thought, mm, there's something wrong with that. And 35, that's wonderful. Fast, 35. That's how you feel, and that's how you are. And I that's think that's projecting, you know. That's wonderful. Anything else you would like to say? We love you. Please come, look at us, uh, like us, share with your friends. Um, and don't keep it under your hat. <laughs> that's right. And Shafar, thank you so much. Obrigado. Obrigada. <laughs> Obrigada, excuse me. <laughs> Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Nice to you. Thank you to Stangyoung.com. Yeah. Find us on YouTube. We're on Facebook. www.adventuresinstangyoung.com. Adios. 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 I want to talk to you today about elephants. Yes, elephants. Amazing creatures. Very intelligent. And we all know have a, an amazing memory. But they also have a very strong family structure. Actually, they do a lot of things. They're really, really cool. And I wish I had the time to talk to you about but there is one trait that I want to pinpoint today. You know, sometimes there is a young elephant that just doesn't want to abide by the rules of the group. It's the rebel, right? He tries to do his own way and he causes some friction inside the group. You know what elephants do? They pair that youngster with the oldest member of their group. And what happens next? Actually very interesting, because when they pair the youngster with the senior, the senior becomes healthier, more jovial, it's like energy comes back, life comes back into him because he's teaching the youngster. And the youngster most of the times just calms down and start abiding by the rules of the group. So it's just the perfect combination when they join two very different generations because one can pick back on the good assets of the other. I want to, to show you a business that is doing the same. It's a school in Brazil, an English school in Brazil called CNA. Well, look what they did. They started a speak exchange. So they have the youngsters, the young people going through school and learning how to speak English and then they pair them with seniors in living assisted facilities here in the US and they become their tutors in English. There is a video on YouTube that you can watch. Here's a snippet for you. Thank you for this change of experience, you know. You are incredible. Abracado. You are my new granddaughter. And I love you. I love you too. And if you were here, I would give you a big hug. Oh yeah, let's hug. Oh. Bye. Bye. Quite amazing, isn't it? And you see that, you know, 
the seniors, they get ready, it brings joy into their lives and they make a difference in the life of those young people that are trying to learn a second language. It's an amazing example of how we can pair different generations so one can benefit from the other. Super cool video, super cool idea. Kudos to CNA in Brazil. I hope you enjoyed the show this week. If you did, don't forget to share, thumbs up, rate our channel. These are the type of things that keep us going. And I'll meet you next week at Boomerology Revealed.